SOS, it's lunchtime. I just made some whole wheat quesadillas with deli ham and four cheese, four me Mexican four cheese. And I'm making my favorite tomato and eggs, salt, like with pepper and salt. This is lunch. This is also breakfast. And this is dinner. Do I look healthy to you? No. This is SOS. I'm here in DC. Teresa's still in New York City, and Kevin's in Guam, and TBH. I haven't showered in three days. Um, I only ate one sandwich in the morning, so I'm starving. Uh, I worked eight hours today, straight, which is fun. I have a midterm on Tuesday, and I have not studied. I'm good. That's it. When people ask me, like, hey, how are you? How's your summer? I just, I, I give them a response. I'm, I'm great. How are you? To be honest, it's like, I'm here for the summer to take summer classes. But I feel like, I feel like there's more to it than, than just me staying in DC across the country just to take summer classes. I mean, like, I, d I didn't need to be here, but I feel like I am here for a reason. And that reason is not really test myself, but to really better myself by self-imposing isolation on myself. A lot has happened in the past year. And, like, to think that I wanted to be away from, like, the people that I've known for, like, 18 years, to be with be close to people who I've known for like less than six months. I wouldn't say it's crazy in a way, I just say it's it's such a huge change and to be honest I don't really know where I want to be like at this moment. Like when I'm here in DC I miss home and then when I'm home I miss DC and it's like I wish I had two bodies at once so I can be at two places at the same time to be with two separate groups of people at the same time and obviously that's not possible so why am I here for the summer as I said it was to better myself and to try to understand and cope with this change and it's, it's a struggle I get it every day it's a routine Go to class, work, do study, do homework, do anything, and then get your free bagels by the end of the day to save money and get free food. And most of the time throughout the day, I'm missing my family, I miss home, and I ask myself, why am I, what am I doing here? Why am I here? And it's just a constant process every day to be asking myself. And when people when people ask me like what am, what am I doing here for the summer, all I say is I'm taking classes. And I'm student guardian. I just needed to get away to to see where I feel like I belong because I don't feel like I belong anywhere at the moment. I I distract myself by going to Yates every day, uh, biking, cooking, and they're all just distractions in a way to prevent myself from really 
answering why I'm here. I am here now. That's the thing. It's just... It's tiring. Well, my main philosophy this summer has just been to accept change and accept the way things are. It's helping me survive. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was saying. I'm trying out for hope and I'm trying out for life and I'm trying out for life and I'm trying out for hope and I'm It's just one year ago from today. Things were different. That's fine. I understand. That I'm God. Now you go. And one year from then to today. Of things have happened in the past year. I accept that. More than you think I'll be gone. And I know that one year from today, 2017, next summer, things will be totally different again, hopefully. Change is but an inevitable aspect of this world, and I'm gonna accept that. This is SOS. And we out.